I'm Colleen Harron, I'm the Learning and Teaching Technologist at Cumbernauld College um, and that I am always on the lookout for new bits of software and hardware um, to use with the lecturers and the students. So just advertised um, a webinar about uh, social pinboarding tools, uh, Pinterest and Scoopit. So I tuned in for the webinar, loved what I saw. Mm -hmm. And I thought immediately, I think I know somebody who's going to like this. I thought it's ideal for art because it's very visual. My name is Stephen Hart and I'm a senior lecturer in art and design at Cumbernauld College. Uh, I teach NC art and design here. We started using Pinterest last year, um, probably after talking to our learning technologist, um, Colleen Hurran, uh, who sort of put it forward. Um, and I talked to the students about it. Some of them had heard of it, some of them hadn't. Um, and we started. I started to get into it um, to, to look at sort of curating art and design uh, sort of boards, as they as they call them, um, and getting a lot of stuff together so they can look at you know things that are relevant to each unit on their course. So we've got a board for corporate identity. We've got one for uh, drawing. We've got one for uh, logo design, uh, and a wide range of artists and designers as well, so they can tap into that. Um, and that's been really successful connecting with the NC students this year uh, and also we've got an access course now called Illustration for Graphic Novels and Tattooing and a lot of them have already started using it and they're, a lot of them come onto the NC course this year as well so that's, that's a good start to get into the NC already. I think the main features of, of Pinterest for us are the fact that we can connect with the students and we can see what they're looking at and they can see what we as lecturers are looking at as well uh, and we can also use it in day-to-day -day teaching um, so we can use it to show them examples of illustration work or design or advertising or drawing uh, you can put assessment stuff up on it as well uh, and we've found a lot of good boards from um, sort of elementary schools in, in uh, America who use a lot of different mm -hmm. assessment sheets which you can get the students to have a look at and that helps in their you know, the day to day work which is really really good um, and again they can also sort of message us or they can put comments about stuff we put up um, and comment. we can put our own work and we can put, we've started putting the students work up as well and a specialist board for Cumbernauld which we're just going to keep building on over the years. Using Pinterest we found um, for somebody like me it was dead easy to use so if I can use it as far as I can see any student should be able to use it. Um, some of them also use Tumblr as well but as I say I'm, I'm using it totally dedicated to my job so it's all about our and design and as I say I've got about 80 odd boards now um, and I keep adding you know new artists that I find and I keep encouraging the students to find new artists and designers as well so that it's, it's, we're helping each other and we're learning from each other which is really really good and really exciting as well. Following from on from the success of Pinterest with the art department we've been promoting it in other areas um, first of all with travel and tourism and the travel students have been using it to pose and um, pin um, destinations that they're interested in. Um, we've tried it with some new programmes that started in January, the NCLP programmes, one for business where they were looking at um, shop fronts and picking most interesting shop fronts, pinning them, and also for hospitality, and um, they've been uh, pinning recipes. Um, the College Library, we've been pinning some of our books, a selection for each curricular area and we've put the uh, boards up in Moodle so the students can tap into the library books and it takes them right through to the College um, Library catalogue. And also we've got a couple of boards for um, additional support for learning, one for apps for learning and teaching and one for apps for health and well-being and they link straight through to the um, Apple site so you can uh, download the app straight away and also to the Google Play Store.